Hi guys, it's Daniel here, and today we are going to do 2002 USAMO problem number 4 in preparation of the USAMO slash USAGMO that's going to happen soon, in less than a month. So, let's get started by reading the problem. Let R be the set of real numbers determine all functions f from R to R such that f of x squared minus y squared equals f x times f of x minus y times f of y for all pairs of real numbers x and y. So we have a functional equation here, and the first thing that we think of when thinking of functional equations is to just plug in random values x equals y equals 0, x equals y, whatever, to find uh, more information about our function f. So let's go ahead and do that. First, let's just do x equals y equals 0 and see what that gives. That gives f of, well, 0 squared minus 0 squared is 0, so f of 0 equals a bunch of things times 0 equals 0. So we have one piece of information here. Now let's look at what happens when x equals y. Well, wait. This gives f of 0 equals x f x minus x f x. That is f 0 equals 0. That actually doesn't tell us anything. But since we have an x squared here and a y squared, this suggests that we can also plug in x equals uh, y equals negative x. Because this thing still turns out to equal 0 after that, but this right hand side turns out to be not 0. So let's see what happens when we do that. We get that the left hand side is just f of 0, and we know this is equal to 0. And the right hand side is equal to x times f of x minus, well x times f of x plus x times f of negative x. So x times f of x plus f of negative x. Now uh, there are two cases here. The first case is if x is 0, then the entire expression is 0, but that's just trivial. So assuming that x is not 0, we know that f of x plus f of negative x is equal to 0, which means that f of negative x equals, neg equals negative f of x. Now, this piece of information is special because uh, it's the definition of an odd function. And uh, this means that if we turn it around the origin, the function f by the or like with the origin as the center, it'll be an image of itself. It'll be exactly itself. So that means we can just consider the non-negative uh, real numbers x and y because it's completely symmetric at the negative side and the positive side. So let's just assume that this is non-negative. Like that. Alright. So uh, all pairs of non-negative. I'll just write plus here. So now we have two pieces of information, but it's still kind of lacking. What else can we do? Let's see. We can all set one of the variables as zero, so why not do that? Let's set y equals zero. If we set y equals zero, then we get the f of x squared. Well, what does that equal? That just equals x times f of x times minus something times 0. I don't care. But we get that f of x squared equals x times f of x. Now why is this useful? Because look, we have a x times f of x here and an x times f of x here. We also have a y times f of y, which is equal to f of y squared. So now we can change this entire thing into f of x squared minus y squared. Well, this just equals f of x squared minus f of y squared. And uh, this is useful because it's, it's a lot simpler than our original expression. In fact, if we substitute x squared equals a and y squared equals b, we can do this because we assume that x and y are both non-negative. Then uh, we get that f of a minus b equals f of a minus f of b. And if we substitute, let's say like f a, a minus b equals a, and rearrange a little bit, we get that this entire expression turns into f of a plus f of b 
equals f of a plus b. Now this is this is really simple. We can work in this. And uh, some of you may notice that this condition will give us that the f must be a linear function. Well, that's true over the rationals, but we're, we're talking about the reals right now. And in the reals, there are some fun weird functions that aren't continuous, such that they satisfy this, but they're not linear, so we have to dig deeper. However, this property that we have here is going to be very important later on, so let's box this. And I'll switch to a different color now. Now we're going on to part two of this solution. So now we've gone through the most basic substitutions, like x equals 0, or x equals y equals 0, or x equals y, or x equals negative y. But so far, they haven't told us, they, they haven't solved the problem yet. They've told us a lot about the function, but they haven't solved the problem yet. Now let's plug in uh, x and y as things like, in terms of one variable, but it can be like, the parameters can be kind of different. For example, let's just let substitute x equals t and y equals like t plus 1 or something like that. You can also like t plus 2 or like, it doesn't really matter. So anyways, if we do that to the original equation over here, oh god, over here, then we get that f of uh, let's see, t squared minus t plus 1 squared. Oh, actually, that's negative. Let's, let's set x equals t plus 1 and y equals t. Make things a little easier. So this gives that t plus 1 squared minus t squared. That's just 2t plus 1, f of 2t plus 1. This equals t plus 1 times f of t plus 1. All right t plus 1 times f of t plus 1. And uh, the other thing is t times f of t. OK. Now we can use this property over here. f of 2 t plus 1, well, that's just 2 times f of t plus f of 1. And uh, t plus f of t plus 1. Well, that's just f of t plus f of 1. So this is t plus 1 times f of t plus t plus 1 times f of 1. And all that minus t times f of t. That is a lot of curvy lines. T's, f's, and parentheses. Well, Anyways, we see that we have some cancellation here. There is this part, and there is this part. And so what's left here is just f of t plus t times f of 1 plus f of 1. Oh, look, more cancellation. And this equals... 2 f of t. Oh look, even more cancellation. And this is just f of t. f of t. So now we know that f of t f of t equals t times f of 1. But wait. This just means we're done. Because if we let f1, f1 is just a constant c. So that means f of t equals c times t, and uh, that characterizes all possible solutions of this function f. So we're done. It's so basically the solutions are just all linear uh, linear functions that go through the origin. Hey guys, Zong here, back with another math video. Today we're going to be uh, conquering USA JMO, um, considering Amy wants.